Hi everybody, welcome back to Suckers for Love. Today we're gonna to find out what happens when you break up with her. I can't remember her name, but we're gonna find out how things go. Hopefully everything will be okay. That already smells delicious, darling. Thank you. All it needs is a little something and it'll be perfect. Hmm, I'm going to take a sh Okay, so she went out for the walk. Do we have reached into oblivion? She was supposed to have like come out and be like, hey, there's the breakup. And since so she's gone now, we can do this. Okay, the ritual is server, your connection, restore your city, return you to a reality in which state it is in. Let the room be well lit. Okay. Why right, now it's all dark? Okay. Probably just the room itself. Oh. If I I was I forgot about that part. <laughs> I was just thinking, it's like, if I open this up, am I dead? Okay. Turn on the lights. Okay. But where was the poster gone? Okay. And... Okay. Let the room be well lit. Ensure the symbol is present. We're gonna be playing that one game. The XO games. There we go. Chant three times. Assertively. Gotta be assertive. Lynetta, get out of my fucking house. Lynette. Lynetta, get out of my fucking house. Let, oh, Lynetta isn't here. Okay, she's in the room, but I think she's probably needs to be asleep. Is she gonna jump scare me? At the XO. That's what I figured would happen, yeah. She did not like that. Okay. But we can load a checkpoint now. I think she has to be asleep. So... Escape reality, prepare. Darling, what's wrong? You're... Okay. I can... Guess you... Oh, so... Okay, the... so... If you... You would... Be... So let's see here. No, no... What do I gotta do now? So we already did this part. Do not attempt to get help performing. So we have like one more thing to do. Dark communion. Pair offering and simply let the room be well lit. Okay, see well lit. Wear no robes or necklace. Oh, okay. Uh, have the offering on your person. Wait. Oh, this. Is this my offering? Oh, there it is. Okay. I think we're good. And then Chenafa Gaga Nika Naga Nika. Delicious! Yay! Just perfect! I wish you could make offerings like this forever! Well, well, my devoted darling, there is only one last spell to perform. The breakup spell. Pledging the yourself get out of my me. fucking hell spell. Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time. Mm -hmm. The final words ever spoken by humankind Baby, will come from I your think we very see mouth other and echo into oblivion. The privilege is yours alone. I may okay. take... I'm getting bored. Go away. We already seen this part. Okay, she's asleep now. Oh, she, she, she took off her clothes. That's not good. Oh, we got to do this part now. We'll break it up! Okay. Which will sever your connection, destroy your city, return your yeah, okay. We gotta do the XO thingy, okay. Ah poo poo. Okay. Don't click as fast. There you go. Click XO, chant three times. That's it. Let the wind be well lit. Ah, it looks well lit to me. Okay. <gasps> Lynetta, get out of my fucking house. Well, that's a get out of my house, you stinky botch. Then I get out of my house, I don't love you, botch. Did it work? My face and hands are back to normal. Did I really do it? <laughs> Darling, why? She became a squid thingy. Why did you break our connection? I'm cut off from the rest of me. 
So is that like a computer? How could you? Why did you? Why did you break my heart? I don't love you anymore. I did what I had to do. Sorry, darling. World's not ending today. I think we should see other people. But why? Was I not good enough? Did you have a bad time on our date? You tried to destroy the whole world. Is there... Maybe. <laughs> no, none of that. I was pretty much just there. Just that you were going to end all of reality. And... Nope, that's it. <laughs> that's the Daryl Breaker. What? But you woke me up in the first place. I changed my mind. It happens. Come on, we both know I got more than I bargained for. <laughs> oh, darling. You realize I still have control here, oh, right? Oh, no. She always... Oh. If you want to smooch my real form... You have no choice but to do the spells over. Maybe I don't want to smooch you. Uh, Squid is fine too. What? Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's creepy. That's freaking creepy. I mean, it's. Oh, okay, yeah. There you go. It needs to be consensual. Good ending. We're still alive! Good enough ending. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's oh, the whole Chevelle right here, right? Yeah. Okay, we got all of the Netta stuff. <gasps> now we got King in Yellow. She's a king? Wait, what, what the hell am I bargaining here for? So how's this gonna be? The King in Yellow approaches. I'm sure it's just a title. So she was Missy or Prissy or whatever her name was. She was the girl that came in originally and almost ruined our spell. What? Is this the same thing? A world terrorized by slavering shadows and tentacled nightmares. Something as innocuous as an additional star in the night sky must be the most prophetic promotion of doom. For whenever the lurid golden light of the planet Carcosa shines the long wicked shadow of the king in yellow is cast doesn't sound as pleasant as i thought behind that mask lies echoes of decadency and disorder masquerades of limitless cruelty and hideous laughter in equal part yeah i should have figured there's no lovecraftian gods who are actually good at all and all the poor devils seduced by the lavish promises of the god king's court the favored victims of the king's sadistic amusement are followers beyond belonging to other deities. She steals their men! Oh, wait, where, huh? Did I zone out? I was, what was I doing? It's a big ass moon. Damn, I have one hell of a brain fart. I can't remember for the life of me what I'm supposed to be doing. Everything feels so hazy. Was I going to work? I'm standing outside, after all. Yeah, that's gotta be it. The sun is setting. So it's probably around 7 p.m., which means I'm gonna be crazy late. Fantastic. That's the beauty of working nights. I can't use the excuse that I overslept. Yeah, Bess, I slept all day, sun up to sundown. That's why I'm six hours early for my shift. Sounds like the church noontime bells. It's high noon. No way. They must be doing some special evening service or something. I can clearly see that it's the golden hour right before sunset. No! I just have to ask someone for the time on my way to work. If it's not too late, I really hoof it. I can get chewed out instead of fired. I'll still have to deal with being sweaty, but I'll figure that out when I get there. Just have some stick deodorant. Oh, hey, it's a friend! Oh, someone's coming home. Perfect. Fingers crossed that I'm not absolutely screwed. Don't. There, they got covered in ketchup. Hey, man, sorry to bother you. You wouldn't happen to have the time on you, would you? Hello? Huh? Hey. Darling, I don't think it is who you think it is. This guy's ignoring me. Normally I say whatever and walk away, but he's unfortunately standing in the only stairway off the floor. The only way to exit this conversation is to shove past him. But this guy's giving me such weird vibes. I don't want to go anywhere near him. So I think Missy probably kidnapped Darling and wants to turn him into one of her slaves. 
The longer I took a look at him, the guy seems more and more suspicious. I mean, was it the golden mask, the blood? What was it? That odd posture, he's slowly swaying in an uncanny, disturbing way. Ow, my neck! The collar of his shirt looks filthy, stained with splotches of deep brown and red. Is he bleeding? Does he even live here? This is the top floor, and I thought I met all of my neighbors. There's only four apartments up here. My only choice is to go inside and call the police, or walk this past this freaky guy. I don't have the time to wait around for when the cops show up, so I'll... But just as I take a step, I kicked something weight with my... I kicked something weightly with my shoe. It's bright pink with golden accent. <gasps> the book! A book. What's... Veneta. But I died. The world ended. <gasps> so it's a continuation. Oh no. Hey, can you please leave me alone? The shock freezes me in place because I was so distracted. I didn't even notice the... They're after my mangas! I duck inside my room, slamming the door in the suspicious man's face. Fumbling with a lock and panic, I managed to turn the deadbolt. <gasps> we got smooch beer! S smooch beer? Smooch bar! I take a few fearful steps back into the room, clutching the book to my beaten chest. I died. I definitely died when I performed the final ritual. So I'm still here. Where is here? It's my apartment. <gasps> we got a golden poster. Yay. Oh, hey, we got a mask thing. We've got some different things. And my turtle. Locked in my room. I have nowhere to run. Lynetta, Lynetta. Lynetta was here. She could explain this. Maybe there's something in this book that could save me. I need to hurry. Come on, come on, Lynetta, where are you? I don't- Lynetta, huh? Who is this Lynetta you're trying to call? Oh, no. Missy, what are you doing in my room? I just so happened to overhear you saying, Lynetta, where are you? You sounded like you were in trouble, so I let myself in. Really now? How did you even get in here? Your window is open. Huh, no, it's not. And either way, I'm on the top floor, so how did Lynetta you- Lynetta sounds like a girl's name, right? Uh -oh. This Lynetta is obviously the girl you stood me up for, isn't she? What is her deal? I knew she'd be pissed I slammed that door in her face. But not so much that she wouldn't notice any of the other thing obviously wrong here. Why doesn't she care about the freaky thing stalking me outside? Or that my room is full of evil idiot- uh, evil, 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 evil idols and ritualistic tokens. He explain all this stuff. Let me guess. Accursed devices used to channel eldritch magics and do the bidding of outer gods. That's better than a guess. Well, yeah, uh, exactly right. Did you just randomly guess that? No, I've just been playing coy. I know exactly what you've been she doing. She does an eldritch pick. You know what this is, don't you? Oh, it's her book. Okay. I was wondering why we had the pink book if we were gonna, if she was supposed to be golden, you know. The golden version of my book. The book I used to perform rituals for Lynetta. It looks way more ornate than mine. Considering I entered reality with mine, I can't imagine how dangerous hers must be. It's a solid, it's servitude. That's her entire goal, I imagine. Wait a minute, the sky. A suspicious man outside. They all match Missy's book. Is she making all this happen? Oh god. What did I expect her to do something crazy? I thought she was just gonna show up with a hatchet or something. You know, the normal shit. Missy, look, I'm sorry, I just wrapped up in something. Please don't. Sorry? You're sorry? Why are you acting so afraid of me? You're an eldritch bitch and you're horny. <laughs> Could it be that you know what this book is capable of? You know what women are capable of, too. I know all too well, but I also know that these incarnations take at least five seconds to- Incantations take at least five seconds to pronounce, and that she gets it right on the first try. So in this case, I have five seconds to stop her. If I dash with my ritual knife before, behind her, I might be able to kill her before she does something terrible to me. I don't think it's gonna work that way. I don't think she's a wielder of the book, I think she owns it. If I can distract her, I'm gonna be able to buy myself more time. 
Missy, look, I'll do whatever you want. Anything? I can be rather demanding. Mm. Name your price. So bold. In that case, I have three commands. Uh oh. Number one, you'll address me as Your Highness from now on. So when I come home, it's welcome home, Your Highness. Wow. Beastie little princess. When she cut, comes home, she wants to move in. But that means we're married! Whatever, it's not like I'm going to have to actually follow through on those. At least one of us is going to die. As you wish, Your Highness. What else? Number two. You'll quit your job so you can spend every waking moment catering to me. You're one and only. I mean, it's, it's trading one job for another, but maybe. I mean, sure, whatever. Just a little bit more until I'm sprinting range of the knife. And number three. You'll obey every order and whim I have, absolutely, without question. Do you agree to my terms? Yes, Your Highness. Absolutely. Absolutely. What? Absolutely, Your Highness. <laughs> She's got I the Satoko laugh. I will do whatever I ask, then. There's no need to use any of these dreadful spells on you. As a matter of fact, I believe you can help me with them. Here. Okay, okay. She just handed over a book without a second thought. Yellow energy pulses and crackled from my fingertips. How does that energy be yellow? She... Is she not here to hurt me? Oh, confused. I've liked you for a long time. Oh. And you're a capable bookkeeper. Handsome yeah. to boot. I mean, it's so... There's no reason we can't simply work together. After all... A relationship based on threats of violence and fear is no good, right? She still wants to serve it to me. Right. She wants to make me into one of her Alexas. We've narrowly escaped with our lives just now. But something is bothering me. How does she remember that I stood her up in the reality that ended? Yeah, that's a good question. And under the net is awakening. Now how did she get through my window? Dust she was able to climb several stories dressed like that. And then passed through my locked window without breaking it. So she's like some sort of boyd. Because they all have like that little bird mask. There's only one possible answer. Hey, my hand's normal. I just realized that. My hand's back to normal from Lanetta. Alright, your highness. I'm ready to enter my lifetime of servitude to you. I just have one small request first. Being? Being? Could you tell me what this is? Worcestershire sauce. Huh? Your Worcestershire sauce? What about it? They said it the same, say, the same way. So you're an eldritch god disguised as a human. What? How did you figure that out so suddenly? She fell for it. Isn't it obvious? No human being can pronounce Worcestershire sir. Sure. Worcestershire. Of course not. It's an eldritch alone word. Why else would it be spelled like that? It's an eldritch word. <laughs> oh, I was careless. After all this time, I wasted trying to seduce you in this slovenly form. I mean, if you're not going to use that form, I mean, I could keep it all on to it for you. <laughs> yeah, you should have tried using your eldritch form instead. I would have fallen in love immediately. Yeah, give me the tentacles. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you think cosmic entities are attractive? As a human. Uh-oh. Three women, 3D women are fine, but fourth dimensional girls with non-Euclid geometry are smoking. They got curves I can literally get lost. <laughs> if I had known that you're attracted to my cosmic godhood, I would have just led with that. Isn't it looking into an eldritch god like gonna drive you in your... Allow That's what me I'm to saying? properly introduce myself. Mm, I am Esther, I like the original. king in yellow. To Carcosa. Charmed, I'm sure. She's gorgeous, a bona fide eldritch king in my room. Oh man, all my fantasies of smooching and eldritch horror are coming true. An eldritch royalty to do. Oh yeah, the money. That's a, that's a good reason to get married. The king in yellow sounds familiar. Can't remember why. My memory for, of my other's existence is kind of fuzzy. The only one I really know about is Cthulhu. That's the only one I, I really popular that I can remember. Oh, there's like Shagoth or something. Why I do what I do remember is that her followers tend to be incredibly violent toward cultist loyal to, loyals to other gods, like Lynetta. 
shit, I kinda got swept, swept up in the moment. Almost forgot I already pledged re fealty to a different god. This reality or not. Oh, uh, wait, I'm sorry, I already evolved with another god. I'm following Lynetta. I know, so loyal, so faithful and devoted. That's why I want you to be my follower instead. In exchange for serving me, I shall grant you anything you desire. Wealth, power, whatever that rotten witch Lynetta offered you, I can double it. Devil of a smooch? <laughs> she promised me a smooch. Then I shall... What, what, what? <laughs> you handed over your reality to her? For a singular smooch? Are you mad? Mad in love. You heard me. So you'll match your offer, then. I... I s suppose If that's all you're selling the world for, then a smooch <gasps> can be... Uh, arranged. Yeah, we're gonna get some. No way, you promised to double it. That's two smooches. No, hold on a minute! So you did make a promise. Two of them on the lips. All right, all right, very well. Two smooches lip to lips. Satisfied? I just... Usually, my followers ask for inordinate wealth, unquestionable fame and influence, or some lavish indulgence. Well, they're not smart like me. Nobody's ever dared to ask to kiss me before, so... She's blushing for real. Huh? You really want to smooch me? Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> your terms are amenable. Suffice it to say, I'll expect you to perform your scenes flawlessly in exchange. I have to... I have to do art scenes. The prompt book I gave you contains the script for the king in yellow. Huh, you mean the spell book that I was so afraid of? It's just a damn play? The thing is just a playbook. Where are all the powers involving rituals? rituals? I'm allergic to artwork. Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? No, we aren't barbaric swamp folk casting <laughs> hocus pocus in a cave. We have a little class. To invoke my power, my play must be performed perfectly. I mean, perfect, though. Perfectly. I don't always get these rituals, or I mean scenes, right the first time. What happens if I botch my lines or set a scene wrong? Your performance will receive a scathing review in the Carcosan Times publication. No! And you'll also be killed. Oh, okay. I said I have to live with my guilt. Go oh, of ruining the play. I'm getting these smooches no matter what. Break a leg, dearest. Okay. Oh my gosh, I have to actually... Oh, hey. Oh, and I got a sun robe. I got my mask. Okay. Hello. Hey, Esther. Don't do that! What? All I did was say hello. Don't speak my name, dearest. There's a reason I am she who is not to be named. A mortal saying Esther summons me to them. Damn, I could summon you anywhere, Esther. There's that, there's that, there. If I can't say your name, what am I supposed to call you? You have many options. Your Highness, You remember? may call me Your Majesty, Your Grace, My King. Oh! <laughs> you could even call me Your Royal Highness if you're feeling particularly subservient. Esther, Esther, Esther. <laughs> Stop that! If I close this, she disappears. She's with the sunlight. Okay. Uh, I think that's a new dagger. What have we got ourselves in today, Sheldon? Oh, oh, is this... Okay, so there's nobody out here that's going to try to kill me. That's good. And what about in my shower? Oh, I should keep the lights on. I bet she... All her rituals are probably going to want the lights on. Oh, hey, I'm here. Oh, hey, I'm back to normal. Okay. Well, let's, let's get on to this. The King in Yellow. Act 1, Invitation, Setting, Exterior, in you... Is this... Okay, first off... That's a lot of writing. Let's just check for secrets. Oh, okay. Doesn't seem to be as long as Lynetta's book. Lynetta had a superior book. Post. Click and drag the first word of the first line. Slowly. Greeting, Stranger, Fortune Fellow. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, so I just... And then she will talk about hers and... Okay. Greetings, stranger. Fortunate fellow. Tis a party for which I bellow. 
I looped it up. Oh, I could hear the re the reviews. Okay. So let's go ahead. All right. So do I have to do the entire thing? Greeting, stranger, fortunate fellow. Tis a party for which I. Oh, I have to do it outside. But like, where did it say that? Where did it say to do that? I did. Uh, settings exteriors in view of city. Oh, the pink stuff is very important. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotta go outside. I don't think I'll have to follow the entire things, right? Greetings, strangers, fortune to fellow. Tis a party for which I bellow. Okay, greetings, stranger, fortunate fellow. Tis a party for which I bellow. I invite the king in yellow, so come all ye in yentel. Wear thine mask upon you to my masquerade until he may come to loss, ye tell. Oh, for us that may be still. I don't, I guess it's called ye tell. Oh. Shadows lengthen dim streets darken to the curfew thou must hearken. Why so loudly does thou bark in the dim city of Yatil? Yatil. Okay, and she's back in her pretty th Only much thing. attention, quite unwholesome, you'll instill from the souls of poor Yatil. Why attract so much ill will? No. Okay, uh. That is just what I seek, must seek. See hidden somewhere amongst the mealy. This is just what I must seek. See hidden somewhere amongst the meekly. Tis one invente I seek. He shall all mistake undo. Tis the king in yellow whose great wealth I sure occur. When his shadow passes through, wealth will come to I and you. Lo, your plans shall surely languish, and this whole town will know anguish for the king as whom they say, which shall the city indeed smite. I wish I could tell you that I'm acting bad in purpose. I really do not act. Telling you and I will know his might. I'll be lost within a night. What reward is worth that price? And you've seen my YouTube channel, so you know that for a fact. Okay. Wearing. Wearing this. What? Wearing this expensive clothing, pardon from my family's loathing. Wearing this expensive clothing, pardon from my family's loathing. Lasting till I'm decomposing all my fruits and strife I've caused. Yes, preparing for this night, their forgiveness is the cause. They shall be uh, proud because I have brought the king to us. Hi. Hey, I did it. Bravo! Simply splendid. Thank you. Why, thank you. That was actually pretty fun. I've gotten to flex my acting chops since high school. You're no stranger to the stage, I can tell. Yeah, I was a theater kid. My school didn't affect me. A virtuoso of the bard, are we? <laughs> if you've performed Shakespeare, then you must be an actor of sufficient ability to survive my play. Yes, Tell yes. me, what role were you? The leading man, I presume. I was the tree, right? I was tree number four. I wasn't aware that was a role. <laughs> it's you weren't even the leading tree. <laughs> you weren't even the leading tree. <laughs> Don't worry, I was actually back there. I thought you said you were a tree. Acting. Oh, you are good. Well, hey, what's happening to you? Don't fret, dearest. Something is simply passing between my planet's light and your bedroom. A cloud, perhaps. Or a common you know proverb, wherever the golden light of Carcosa shines, the shadow of the unspeakable one is cast. It's a literal rule. Oh, huh, okay. I can only be wherever the light of my planet star Carcosa shines. So we summoned an entire planet. Wow. In other words, I can't reach you at night when you're not standing in natural mm. light, or if anything obstructs your view of Carcosa. Hmm. That explains why Missy has a weird daytime curfew. She literally vanished when the sun sets. What a Cinderella-like curse. That also explains how she got in my room. 
My window may have been locked, but the curtains were open, allowing the light in. That's why Lynetta was all about the whole... Nah, there's also giant tentacle monsters outside too. So she can't get into my room if I close my curtains. Aww, I was quite enjoying my time with you. I wanted to stay a little longer. Okay. Alas, parting is such sweet sorrow. It may be some time until your sky clears. Until then, I bid you adieu. Well, you know, that's actually not too bad, though, because then you can have a break whenever you're in your servitude or whatever, as long as you keep your freedoms, which is kind of seems like those people who have the mask on probably don't have their freedoms. <gasps> Does that count as my smooch? Oh, wait, it was on the, the, uh, the clips. Well, now it uh, looks like I have one hell of a choice to make. Lynetta hasn't been summoned yet, and Esther is stuck outside for the moment, so I have a moment to collect my thoughts. Between Lynetta and Esther... Who do I want to smooch? Or maybe more accurately, who am I more afraid of? Do I stay with Lynetta or do I follow Esther this time around? And is she is offering twice as many smooches after all. It's, it's a good reason to do that. I need to make my choice if I want to stay with Lynetta. That I should focus on casting spells from her book. If I want to smooch Esther, then I should open my window again with my clouds clear and use Esther's book. And if I'm trying to go for both, well, walking down in the middle of the road is bound to be get me run over. As long as they both, aren't both in the room at the same time, I should be safe, right? <laughs> oh man, what am I going to do? That's like three smooches. <laughs> Either way, I need to talk to Lynetta. She might be an avatar of world and calamity, but she might be able to help me get my head straight. Speaking of my head, why does my head, forehead feel kind of sticky? <gasps> okay, oh, do is there any, like, I have to do this stuff? Like, that seems kind of like a dumb, dumb thing to do, darling. I mean, come on. Alrighty, uh, let's go inside. He said something about his, like, his thingy is, like, sticky. So, yeah, it's not quiet. I don't want it quiet. Okay. Look at Fabulous. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that we were going to have blood. All right, let's do this. Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, that means. Okay. So, draw the curtains. She going to notice the extra stuff that's on there? Draw the curtains. Turn off the light. Uh, probably need to remove the image of the girl. Draw your curtains, turn off your bed, I'm in the dark light, red head, red lit fire candles. Oh, I didn't do that. Okay. And you know, you know, place the darkest, the darkest stages. Ritual necklace. Okay. Just click and drag from the left. Okay, I already did that. Lenetta, get your ass back. Let. Lynetta, get your ass back here. I want more smooches. Was this she supposed to speak? Mortal, for what purpose have you? Darling, it's you! <laughs> she remembers! Hey, Lynetta! It's nice to see her, despite everything I've been through so far. Sure, she may have ended the reality I was from, but she never lied or deceived me in any way. So not only did you make the mistake, that caused the end of reality, you decided to just go ahead and re-summon her, huh? Alright. She told me up front what would happen, and I did it, willingly. Yeah, she didn't cheat you. That said, I'm really glad you're here, but... Can you tell me what happened to me? To that world we dated in? That reality fell to me. Nothing there exists anymore. Like a dream that ends. But how am I still here? Just as I thought, only... Then why am I still here? Why did I survive when the rest of the reality did? Oh, darling, don't make me say it. It's embarrassing. She loves me. She could get rid of You're me. You're still here because I'm... She was in love. I'm still dreaming about you. <gasps> Everything in existence is being dreamed about by at least one Eldritch God. So as long as you're on my mind, you'll exist somewhere. <gasps> As long as you don't forget. That's actually kind of sweet in a terrifying cosmic way. What would happen if every god stopped dreaming at the same time? What if he woke up all at Everything once? 
including all of the gods, would cease to be. That's de depressing. And that could just happen at any time? Nah, don't worry! There's about 50 of us total, so the chances of all of us being awake at the same time are low. Actually, seems like it'd be rather high. There's only like 50 of you and all? She probably knows Esther very closely. Mm -hmm. Kind of a big family, huh? <gasps> You're related? Family, do you know Esther? Esther? Darling, I thought I told you not to mention other women while we're together. Especially not my sister. Uh-oh. <laughs> sister? Uh, I can't stand that prissy little boyfriend stealing. Uh, don't have a great relationship with her. Absolutely not. We've been fighting over planets and followers for eons. It wouldn't be a stretch to call this nemesis. Oh boy. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner must be awkward, huh? You good thing I washed my face. I just did that. I didn't. Okay, I didn't. I, I, I actually almost just didn't wash my face. My boy instincts jumping out here. If Lynetta saw that lipstick smear my forehead, I'd be in hot water right about now. Well, that's a possible ending we need to look into. Well, I still am in hot water now. Actually, I've gotten involved with her sister. It happens. A messy affair is bad enough, but with a family member, I'm toast if she finds out. Esther. Looks like the clouds haven't cleared yet. But we won't see her right now if I wanted to. For now, I should work through Lynetta's spells again. Eldritch Hand saved my ass last time. I better catch that one in case I'm unable to talk again. Is it she gonna notice that there's some changes? Is it Esther gonna notice that? Sheesh, listen to myself. What the hell's wrong with me? Man. Oh boy, I'm sorry. Oh. Darling, what's this I found under your bed? <laughs> uh, it's, it's nothing. It's, oh, that's my Eldritch Encyclopedia. I haven't translated it, but... But its diagrams are useful. Oh, you studied it extensively then. Uh oh, there's a stakes. I since oh, there, there's actually a bra. I didn't realize there's a bra. I since I've made some sort of mistake. Uh, I guess why? What's Darling, up? Darling, this is a dirty magazine. Uh, <laughs> A V debut. What really? I thought it was an anatomical guidebook. Big slippery Shogoth girlfriends volume three. I bet you can learn a lot of anatomy from this. Perv. <laughs> I said I haven't translated it yet. How was I supposed to know? This girl on the front isn't wearing anything. She's topless. <gasps> oh no! I need to blur that out. That's a girl. It just looked like an amorphic mass of tentacles to me. Is this what you wish I looked like? Uh oh. I really, truly don't. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, you're smoking hot. I could never have eyes for anyone else. When I'm with you, you're my dream girl. Aww. Sheesh! You're going to make me blush. Good save. I seriously didn't know it was a dirty mag, honest. It's okay. I forgive you. That said, can I keep it? Not a chance. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, Elder's Mouth, okay. Which will, will allow you to utter unspeakable incantations before the ritual summaries. Of course, be easy, so I need to wear no robes, no amulet. Ritual knife on my person. Ain't going into the bathroom. Just hand going in the bathroom for a minute. I'm in such deep shit. Oh, God. Shit. Still and unnerving as I remember. Is this reality? This is just my hand now, forever. Ah, it's such a nice day outside. It's a little dry for my liking, but we could totally have a date date. Nice. Why don't you open your window? Let a little light in here? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, way. What? What is it? Uh, you sure you want to do that? What do you mean? I mean, uh, don't you want to shower first before you go out, like last time? Huh? Why would you suggest that? Oh, no. Don't tell me. Do I still smell like the ocean? <laughs> Just a tad salty. <laughs> Heavens below. I'm so sorry, darling. I'll be right back. I'm still here. No though. peeking, but I love you. Okay. That was a close one. If she opened that window, Esther would have come. I would have been a goner. Looks like the clouds have cleared. Lynette is out of the room. I want. If I want to date Esther, it's go time. 
Otherwise, if I want to stay with Lynetta, I need to make absolutely sure that the windows will never open. Ever. It's time to choose. From this point on, my actions will have consequences. I think they've had consequences for a while. Okay, so now I can switch books. Okay. What is needed for the Lynetta part? Many both sees we did that one. After we'll have after Esther's masquerade will have consequences. So there's different stuff. Okay. It seems like it's a different I can't remember if we performed that one yet or not. And this one is the masquerade. We might be two timing chicks, man. Okay, let's go outside. Look at this. Mask makeup guy backstage in the closed room in a closed room with a mirror. Uh oh, I need to do this inside the mm, probably the masquerade. Masquerade mask. This one. Adorn the host in elegant robes. Like this. Reach your knife to host person. I think I have that. Yeah. Uh when all is complete, look in the mirror. To make sure that it's in proper. Okay. I will look myself in the mirror. Looks good. <laughs> Looks like everything's in place except I'm bleeding. I feel like all gussed up. Even for me, this outfit's pretty loud. But even so, the beauty of this whole, is whole ensemble is out of this world. The night is showering here. I better meet with Esther in the other room. All I have to do is stand where the plants like can reach me and... I already know what you're gonna say. Your Highness Yellow is more your color than mine, but I still look pretty good, right? You clean up well. I'm impressed. You'd be presentable before my royal court in that. Why, thank you. It's a pretty snug fit. The mask almost feels alive, like it's molding to fit my face perfectly. Quite the opposite, dearest. Your face is molding to fit the mask. Oh, nice. Ah. I feel a twist of metal digging into my temples. Nice. It's stuck to my face somehow. Ow. Ow. It really won't come off. Uh, <laughs> I may have failed to mention that we reenact the play with deadly accuracy. You failed to mention From this point on in the play, your character never removes his mask. So neither shall you. But what about Lynetta? She's gonna know. This surely shouldn't be a problem for someone who is planning to be my eternal servant. We got another smoochy thingy. I can't even blink anymore. My eyelids are stretched to meet the indifferent metal of the eyeballs. The mask and your face have become one. Nice. Your every pore is now gilt and gold. This. What do I have to wear this to work? When I see family. When I see Lynetta. Wait a minute. Those strange people outside. They all had mask stuck to the mask stuck to them too. Are they past followers who belong to, who become Esther's servants? That was the old ex-boyfriends. Is that going to be my fate? Okay. Where's Rogues? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. After we perform the masquerade. Oh, we already did the masquerade? Okay. So that's it. Setting. Interior... Interior well lit. Okay, interior well lit. Turn on the light. Uh, wearing robes and masks, done that. Uh huh. Welcome, company, much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish. Welcome, company, much cherished. May my loneliness thus perish. To this evening we shall share. Which will be wasted by myself. No attendants have arrived tonight, alas, besides thyself, but I'll be beside myself with the when when thee the king when thee the king reveals himself. Hey, I I didn't mess Play that up. That's upon actually my bodice for before you stands a goddess. Know this guest of goldenrod is merely the first of the night. Let us drink to your great wealth and family and life, lasting till your afterlife. I'll be yours once he arrives. Nice. Okay, uh-huh. Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. 
Yes, until my schemes may flourish, we shall haunt my empty fortress. Let us dance our whirling dervish while we feed our appetites. By the morrow, we shall know if the king came tonight. Midnight marks the final chime. Until that comes, there is still time. Baby, graciously obeisance, demonstrate a courtly patience. He declines no invitation he receives upon his court. All who live in doomed you till will know without report. The king arrived by your escort. A prophecy of grim import. So you did? Feels like I'm back in my freaking drama class. An immaculate performance, dearest. Bravissimo. Bravissimo. There's only one more scene to reenact, and then this world will be mine. Wow, we're already close. I probably should have asked before we got to the final act. But this play isn't a tragedy, right? No, it's not. The ending is actually quite hilarious. Yay! Oh, that's actually a huge relief. What happens? Your character is slain, and all of his wishes come true in an unexpected way. Yes! In his ambitions of greed, influence, and fame, he dies penniless, alone, and infamous. Wait, my character dies? I'm going to die? I thought I said it was a comedy, though. Right? Comedy is merely tragedy from far enough away. <laughs> that's so true. Is she implying that she thinks my death would be funny? I get that she's an out of god, so human morals don't really apply to her, but that's gotta be cruel even for her. No way can I go through with that. Sorry, I don't want to die again. I anticipated that you might get cold feet after learning of your character's fate. However, my wrath is terror far beyond a touch of stage fright. Most run in the family. So, for your sake, dearest, do the fucking scene. <laughs> okay. It is performed by Quit. Okay. But what about Lynetta? Is she still in the shower? Oh. I, could, uh, I could end it all right there by, and have a nice, nice scene. Yeah. Okay. It says something about performing the ritual after it will have consequences. If you see or hear something strange, Proceed in tall darkness, no lights, no candles. Their images appear in no way in posters or tapestry. Wear a mask or headpiece to distort your features. Have a ceremonial knife on your person. Mm. I think I have to perform this if I'm going to do this the whole... It just says consequences. But there's such things as good consequences, right? So... Total darkness, okay. No lights. Total darkness. Remove all. I don't know why I was trying to click the light bulb on this thing. Uh, close the windows. No lights, no candles. Image, no. Wear a ceremonial robe. This says a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. Okay. Hm. Have a ceremonial knife. Got that. Uh, second step of this previous page. What's the second step? Just make sure there's no dart. And oh my god! Oh my god! This is oh oh my god! This is gonna be a pain in my head. oh my god! Oh. I wasn't even doing it. Triple eight. <laughs> Why not? Oh, need tentacle mask. Wait, I'm wearing both masks. Well, let's see what I look like. Oh, if I'm wearing the tentacle mask over the other mask, she might not be able to immediately, but I'm like stuff like that. Um, okay. Now we try it. Oh my god, it's a party of pain in my ass. I have the necklace. Oh, I can't wear both? I don't think I could do this then. Because the mask... If I wear the mask or whatever... 
Okay. I think, okay, now I think it's okay. I don't think that was supposed to happen. I think I had everything. Oh, oh, I can't get the retro mask to stay on over my masquerade. Darling, is everything all right? Oh no, she's finished with her shower. Uh, yeah, I'm just working on my pronunciations. She's right. <laughs> it's backwards. She's right in front of me. What if I, maybe if I bury my face in this book, she might not notice the mask is fused to my face. Aww, are you stuck on a word? I can help you sound it out. Let me see the page. <laughs> no, no, I got it. I'm a big boy. Well, it can't be harder to figure out than English. It would probably be easier to read if the book wasn't upside down, darling. <laughs> Uh, that explains why I couldn't read it. <laughs> okay, I think I got it now. Darling, why are you holding it so close to your face? The font shouldn't be that small. Go and go coma, I guess. Uh, my eyes it has been going for a while now. Got to pick up some prescription reading glasses, but I keep putting it off. I didn't know you need glasses. <laughs> uh, usually I wear contacts. But you aren't wearing them now? Oh, I guess not. I must have dropped them on the ground. Somewhere in the last reality. <laughs> Darling! Yeah. Put the book down. Go. Oh. Now. <laughs> That's it. I'm screwed. If she sees this masquerade mask on my face, she'll know I've been mating with Esther. Think, think, think. Oh, Quick, the bathroom. Darling, oh no, we got a bad. We got a bad thingy. Will that door hold? No telling if this mask is still on my face when she gets in. So I have no other options. I dig my fingers under the edges of the mess. <laughs> feels like I'm pulling my very fingernails off from mere millimeters of leverage. The mass feel fused my skin. I'm taking off large chunks of flesh with every pull. The pain, it's unreal. It's do or die. I take a deep breath and pull the mask forward until my skin is taut and there's no more give. Then I... Why did you lock me out, darling? Heavens below! What happened to you? <laughs> I... I... can't even formulate thoughts right now. Whatever happens here, happens. Is, is that why you were hiding your face? No, maybe. <laughs> I don't care about any of that. I'm not so shallow that I'd fuss over what you look like. <laughs> I'm here because I like you. No matter what happens to you. So don't be so self-conscious around me, okay? <laughs> then I... Shh. Just let me hold you. Oh, that's so sweet. She's too sweet. This feels right. This feeling right now almost makes staring off my face worth it. Almost. Just stay right there until you're mentally prepared to continue. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I end up blacking out for the pain. Waking up some time later in my bed, the golden mask was nowhere to be found. Oh, we got rid of the mask! But she's still mad at me. Oh, do I want to look? Oh, okay. What do I look like? Oh, nice! Okay, I <laughs> look confused. I'm all dope. I have all this gold shit on. I have a tentacle mouse. It's like, what the hell, man? So how's your dating life? Oh, hey, where'd she go? She was on the bed. Where'd she, where'd she run off to? Okay. Uh, performed dark communion. I did that. <laughs> the breakup. Very spooky. Don't worry about these steps. All you have to do is give Lynetta a big old hug. Aww. Lynetta. Yes, darling? I'm just checking, but... You haven't tampered with my book, right? What do you mean? This Eldritch Embrace spell, it looks a bit different from the other rituals. <laughs> How strange! She's a... <laughs> just, oh, what's the use? You caught me. It's not a real ritual. But she's so kind. Aww. I just... <laughs> I see how hard you're pushing yourself to make it through these spells for my sake. I thought maybe you could use a break from the real rituals, so I could spoil you a little. Aww. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet of you, but there's no time for breaks. Not even a quick one? 
Oh my god, well, can't lose sight of my singular goal. Smooching ya. Well, all right. I'll leave you to it then. You're leaving? There's something I need to check on. It's probably nothing, but you haven't seen anything strange lately, have you? I mean, yeah. I've seen plenty of strange things lately. Out of gods, hands of mouths. <laughs> Beyond the usual strangeness. You haven't noticed anything watching you, have you? No. Huh. Sorry, I guess I'm being the strange one, huh? I'll just be right back. Stay safe, okay? Okay. Nice. We might end this episode here. I think we're gonna probably end the episode right here. I mean, how many more do I have? Eldritch Grace, a communion. And then we got this. The bug quit. But she said the bug quit was like it would end the whole thing. Okay. Well, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you guys for joining me. I will see you all in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.